The Federal Trade Commission fought a lawsuit to block the merger of Kroger and Albertsons over concerns that the $25 billion supermarket deal could lead to higher food prices uh, and lower wages. Join us now, Kathy O'Neill, former senior director of investigations and litigations for the Justice Department's antitrust uh, division. There's People are just separated, I guess, Kathy, on, on this. Um, and, and there are people that say, look, the elephant in the room is Walmart and, and that Kroger's and, and Kroger and Albertsons should be uh, able to, to somehow rationalize certain operations, be able to compete uh, with Walmart, and that, that that's the true threat to consumers. Hi, Joe. Um, hi, Andrew. Um, it's Kathy here. Great to be with you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so this is a long anticipated um, lawsuit. It was announced in fall of 2022. Not surprising that the, the FTC is sued here. As you point out, um, the FTC is looking at a very narrow slice of the market. They're looking at um, the impact of this merger on large supermarket chains. So there's they're sort of turning a blind eye to the superstores, the Costco's, the Walmart's, the Amazon's, um, and saying that really the impact of this merger is going to be in a slice. It's going to be on those large supermarket chains. So it remains to be seen whether, in fact, um, the the data and the records sort of bear that out, that, that we should be ignoring that. In the past, um, it's true that, that consumers have largely relied, um, and there's been distinct demand for these large supermarket chains. But I think you know, consumers are increasingly turning to these other uh, 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 grocery outlets. And, you know, with the advent of delivery services, it makes it much more, uh, much easier to order from the Costco's uh, and the Walmarts of the world. I mean, it, it, people would say that you're, you're looking at, you're, you're back in the 70s or 80s. That, that's the landscape that, that you're looking at right now when you're, you're trying to decide uh, on a merger between supermarket chains. And it's just stated in, in you can find it certain so the main reason this is a, a journal piece today obviously it's the wall street journal but the main reason that they're blocking the deal appears to be opposition from the U united food and commercial workers union which represents workers of both companies because they off they are able during collective bargaining um to actually play the two companies against each other to get to get higher wages is that i mean that's we want them to get higher wages. Is that a legitimate concern in a merger that it, it might make it harder for unions to get to extract higher wages? Or, or are we thinking about consumers? Are, are both OK, both constituencies OK to consider? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, there's no limitation here. Um, most merger enforcement in the past has focused on the effect to consumers downstream, but there's nothing in the antitrust laws that prevents examining the impact elsewhere, including on the employees of the companies, the workers. And as you point out, the FTC in their complaint, they allege that in the past, unionized workers of both companies have used uh, uh, the fact that there are two separate chains here have played one off of the other in order to improve wages to obtain okay. more favorable terms. So the FTC is positing that if the merger goes through, that competition is going to be eliminated, resulting in depressed wages and reduced benefits for workers. So it's unusual. You don't see that in merger challenges um, every right. day. Um, but the right. Biden administration has been very focused on workers right. and protecting consolidation if, that could impact Kathy, workers. Real quick because we only got about 30 seconds left. Because all the Biden administration talks about, not all of but they talk about it all the time. Inflation, 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 inflation. Joe talks about his food costing too much when he goes to the supermarket. Too much. Do you have <laughs> any view that this transaction would increase or lower prices of food? Yeah, so I don't know the record yet, but certainly the FTC is alleging that it will increase the prices of food. And I think, look, it's not surprising. The president himself has gone on record in recent weeks saying that he's concerned about the high price of groceries. He's concerned about the impact on the average American consumer. And he's criticized in particular the large grocery chains who have maintained high prices and high margins despite uh, in deflationary trends that we're seeing elsewhere in the retail sector. So it's not a surprise that the FTC here is suing here to protect um, consumers from what they perceive will be higher prices.